Okay, this is my review on Ant-Man and the Wasp from 2018, the IMAX enhanced version exclusively on Disney+. Plus. Now, those who like haven't seen my past Marvel movies where I review the IMAX enhanced version, as I plan, as I done with the past for other Marvel movies, and I plan to do each one for the IMAX enhanced uh, version of each Marvel movie, M Marvel Studios movie. Okay, uh, maybe we're at Marvel Studios. Uh, so what the difference is basically, it fixes all the uh, visual problems that looked ugly, like the color. And the lack of shadows. And basically this... Uh, but, and how it fixes those, it basically uh, uncrops the movie. Uh, aspect ratio, as in the picture. It basically shows the scenes that were shot in full screen into full screen. And the scenes that were shot into widescreen into widescreen. Because not every scene was shot in full screen or in widescreen. For this one, except for, for Infinity War and Endgame, the, both movies were shot entirely in full screen. This movie is a um, bit of an equal amount of, of both uh, full screen and widescreen shots. Like when the really cool action stuff happens, it swish switches right to full screen and there's a lot of action stuff in this movie. When uh, ever, but whenever like uh, so when whenever it's like cool moments and stuff like that, expect to to like see in full screen, and basically you'll see why um, the action scenes seem kind of lacking, and it's always seems like medium shots, and the action scenes and every shot seen in the past. Why the reason why every mile film seems like they always use medium shots is because they. To me, it seems like they actually crop every film they release to the public worldwide. That's not going to be showing IMAX theaters. And also to home video. That would be Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. Unless your digital is on Disney+. Plus and one of the, I guess, the IMAX enhanced treatment. You're not going to see all of the action, and all of the colors, and all of the shadows, and all of the lighting, uh, subtle details, or the major details to the texture of the film, the attention to details in the film. You're not going, you're not going to see like real. You're only going to see, everything's going to appear in medium shots, even though they don't really use that many medium shots as much as other people might think. But the reason why they don't, the reason why they look like me, I'm sure, whenever there's an action scene, is because usually they use those, um, well, um, those shots are usually full screen. The big action scenes that should be, uh, not, that should be wide angle shots or, or anything beside medium shots, you know? It's like, uh, so, basically, Mao doesn't use as many needle sh this, they don't use anything, they don't, it's not like they use anything but medium shots, but when it gets converted, then it looks like a medium shot. And it can get really repetitive after a while. After the first time you see it, it gets repetitive instantly. At least to me it did. And um, and this goes all the way back to the first Iron Man film released in 2008, when this problem started to occur for the first MCU movies in Phase 1. And they have continued doing this to this day. In 2022, for last for the latest movie Spider-Man: No Way Home, they did that again, and only recently this year, or only recently last year, since last year, in 2022, and and also in 2021, when they started releasing the films into the IMAX enhanced versions. We can see all of this, the details in uh, you are missing in the film, and let you get more easily invested. You can actually, might you really can see how good the tension is to detail in the visual effects and special effects. Visual effects, I guess, the CGI and special effects, basically a practical stuff. I guess, I think I got that right. Okay, uh, so yeah. 
And anyway, I'm going to talk about the plot of the movie now. And I just want to you know I really love this movie. This the once I saw the uh, the true potential of like the scene of this 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 entire movie, the scenes that it shows it, it, this uh is really a special a special looking movie. I I say it's like it it kind of if it, it's definitely a. Uh, it's, it definitely focuses on, on the family dynamic in uh, uh, um, a, a lot. And also uh, with a lot of comedic elements and drama mix into it. And uh, so anyway, uh, I was, uh, I did, this is uh, basically, um, it balances everything really good. And uh, nothing feels really out of place. With these Marvel films, the ones I have seen in the IMAX enhanced, like no, no scenes feels like rush or out of nowhere. Even the comedic scenes, which I, in the past, I found very cringy. At times, because scenes like out of nowhere, but now it doesn't seem like out of nowhere because I don't know why. Maybe it's because the film, I see the full potential of what the film looks like. I and I can see the whole frame, of uh, from bottom to top, more the bottom to top, and also what the color is supposed to look like and how the actually the filmmakers made the color look like before it got cropped to uh everything to widescreen uh for worldwide for the general public so that's my guess that's why i think i like the, the i can see so much uh uh potential in these movies that, that the ones i reviewed only in imax enhanced versions of the film so yeah you can still see the regular versions, the first versions that were released that got cropped into widescreen, that were uh, got first released before these are really, really uh, which basically I think those, which basically if you want to see those ones, uh, the ones that shot the, this like the widescreen versions that just got cropped to widescreen, and for every shot, I personally think that's a very stupid move, and that you're wrong for liking them. Those versions of the film, because I think that destroys the vision of the filmmakers uh, that they had for the film. And I think you're an asshole if you do like those versions and think that they're better in every way. And that you need to go die. And rot in hell. Well, I just want to say that. So, I'm going to talk about the movie now. I just want to say I give this... I mean, also 10 out of 10 for the IMAX enhanced version. Now I'm going to talk about the plot of the movie. Um, so the plot is uh, uh well, uh, so, uh, this character called Ghost, uh, interrupts, um, uh, Wasp when she's uh, being a bad guy after her plan goes south with uh, uh, to bring uh, her mother back from the quantum realm. She can't she can't get the briefcase even though she gave uh, the money to the guy, bad guy, this business guy who is just a business guy stereotype, but seems like a parry of a business guy because <laughs> and uh, he's actually one of the. Uh, main villains of the film, uh, and so is Ghost. And, uh, yeah, so, um, they're trying being, uh, basically the reason why the, she's trying to get that briefcase because, well, explains that, um, does a quick, uh, uh, briefing of the, what happened in the first one, uh, of, well, it doesn't really, it, it does a flashback, it, it goes back to the flashback that happened in the first one, when uh, Jan Van Dyne went subatomic and had a shrink really small and destroyed this nuclear bomb before it destroys millions of billions of people. And you see Hanks was um, Ant-Man, who was Ant-Man at the time, his shrinking, uh, his, uh, his shrinking Paco, uh, his, his like shrinking, his thing that his belt was damaged that left, left him shrink. Uh, so he couldn't do it. So, uh, but his mother's, but the mother's, uh, Janet's mother, uh, J J not Janet, Janet is the mother, and Hope is the daughter, Hope's daughter, Hope's, I'm getting too excited, I'm getting something, I'm falling off track a little, with my words. 
Get the next sec. Um, Hope's mother, Jan Van Dyke, who was lost at the time. Uh, her... Her, like, uh, belt wasn't destroyed, wasn't damaged, so she could do it. And she was lost forever, supposedly, in the quantum realm. There's no way to come back. And supposedly she died. Hank believed that she's still alive because Scott came back from the quantum realm. So they come up with a plan, uh, blue, this, um, so, uh, so he dusts off this old blueprint that... It's a machine to bring the the mother back, and that's the basically the dilemma. And this ghost, uh, well, this well, that's the, not really the dilemma, but um, it's kind of two dilemmas here. Um, so remember, I mentioned this character ghost, uh, that uh, Jan Van D D that uh, not Jan, uh. Hope, who's now the watch, ran into. Uh, uh, during a mission. Uh, so, who took off his briefcase. And, uh, after trying to take Hank's life, who is a retired Ant-Man now. And now Scott is Ant-Man. Not related at all to it. Uh... Hank, if in case those who are wondering who happens in the first one, um, so yeah, as things go south. Uh, now they're being chased by um, the spin guy and his crew, and also uh, Watts has the briefcase, which is the only way the which missing one missing part they need to get. Janet Hope's mother back from the quantum realm. And also, uh, Scott and Janet, uh, Hope's mother, uh, share a mental link together. Mental psychic link together somehow. Because Janet gets develop, develop, develop superpowers in, in the quantum realm somehow. Um, so yeah, um, he, um, gets taken control by uh, Jan Van Dyne, uh, to, uh, fix the machine and, uh, pinpoint the right location, uh, where she's at, and that they only have a certain amount of time to g get her. So Hank goes in to get her, while a bunch of things goes south. After they get the briefcase back, that is after we, it's revealed that, well, Lauren Fishburne, who played Morpheus, is a bad guy. I think I said his name right. Uh, Lauren Fishburne. Lauren Fishburne. One of those. I, I'm trying to remember his, his name. is a difficult name. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, he's. Revealed to help, uh, he's helping Ghost because basically she's dying, fading in and out of reality because she doesn't, she doesn't have all for sure molecules or uh, atoms or basically DNA is basically unstable basically because of, of well, um, um, Hank is doing and that, uh, and, um, she got caught in an explosion because she wanted to save her dad, and uh, Hank shut down the project after the explosion show. She couldn't really, uh, basically, uh, no wait, Hank shut down the project before the explosion that the guy was working independently with his own money. Uh, so because of that, uh, she got caught in the explosion, and the father died in the explosion, so the mother, so, but she survived, but she saw a phase in that reality. And the costume she wears helps to control the powers, and the machine that she basically high rings into is, is keeping her stable, but it's losing its effect, both uh, the machine and the costume. 
So she's going to die soon in a matter of God knows how much time she has. So a matter of days or hours. So that's why she needs to use uh, Janet uh, uh, basically absorb Janet's uh, powers from the quantum realm. Which could kill her. And Hank's aware of this and, and freaking out. And, uh, yeah, so, um, fix how to the make their escape. And this is at the final that, um, they're basically helping each other out. Uh, th that, uh, they're basically not helping each other, they're basically up. Uh, so they're basically on the same side, so yeah. Um, yeah, and, uh, so, then Hank goes in the, uh, quantum realm. He starts, his mind starts basically mentally falling apart, and, uh, can't tell the difference between real and, uh, real reality anymore, because he's hallucinating, like, really bad. And Janet uses some sort of, uh, her powers to basically ease his mind, so he's comes back to reality and uh stops hallucinating. Which is uh which is a simple touch of the brain of the forehead and uh and uh so yeah um they get their way out of the quantum realm. Now now it's Janet almost dying and fading out of reality fading out from reality from the quantum realm because uh ghost hopped the machine and saw sort of Janet is absorbing Janet's uh abilities from within the quantum realm because half of uh ghosts uh her uh, is trapped in the quantum realm but I guess half of her is, is is out of the quantum realm as we explained. So uh uh the guy uh, that's helping her has dying have second feelings about this because he just doesn't want trade life so one for the other so yeah so uh he leaves the building after uh the answer scored, scored him out of the building after he has to change the heart and that's when everything goes crazy with the with ghosts and everything and but luckily Scott and uh Hope who are now airmen the wasps uh, basically stop ghosts from, uh, killing the mother, the retired wasp. So, um, and when they make their way out of the quantum, both of them is safe and sound, uh, Janet and, uh, Hank together, but ghost is not looking too well, and she's in a lot of pain, and Janet can see the pain that she's in, so she helps her stable, makes her stable again, and whole again, so basically, she's make her human again, and uh, a, a full human again, and uh, fixes her basically. Uh, basically cures her with with with, with her powers, and uh, everyone's wondering how the heck did she do that? <laughs> did you know she could do that? Uh, no, we didn't know. <laughs> they're, they're all coming down like that's amazing. Uh, so. <sighs> Uh, Ghost thinks that she should, uh, be caught because the terrible change she's done. So, uh, she's now sh basically thinking more clearly like herself, like, but she's not in pain anymore. She just feels guilty of what she's done, all the things she's done. And, um, Lauren Fishburne basically says, I'm not leaving you, your side. We're going, we're going to make it fruit together. And, uh, basically outrun the cops is what they need to do, and, uh, that's the last we see of them in this movie, then, uh, um, one of the henchmen that worked for this business guy leaves a tip on one of the, uh, cops for that, um, uh, that says that, uh, Hank, no, not Hank, uh, Scott, the other Amian, is out and about when he's supposed to be on house arrest for two years straight. 
So, who's been covering him is basically a giant mutated ant. Well, not mutating you know, like a I am that got that got increased size is with the same technology uh that Hank Pym used to shrink himself when he was the man. Uh, so yeah, um, and that ant basically just doing his regular routine and uh wearing the wearing the uh wrist the uh the the uh the house arrest uh bracelets while uh for the for the time while uh, Hank's and uh and whole basically kidnapped Scott against his own free will and knocked him unconscious to help. And uh they let him go because the cops were on the way to his house and uh he beats them there and then he outsmarts them, they leave. Once he leaves, he decides to talk about uh, how he's been really screwing up and been terrible being Ant-Man again to his daughter. And, uh, uh, his, yeah, so, um, uh, so, uh, so, he decides to basically have the Ant cover for him again and basically go break uh Hope and Hank out of prison. And the later in the film after that all that stuff happens, I just told you. Uh uh Scott almost drowns after going uh giant size to get the briefcase back. From the business guy that he just somehow found a ticket on in me in time to get on this boat. And he almost basically drowns us getting the briefcase and uh uh Was has to save his ass. And so he outsmarts the cops again. And uh Goes, gets out of the suit, and this lets the suit actually pose as him when he as a giant side. And the the cop, the head of police is is, is so doesn't see that something's odd, <laughs> and that's not he's not even responding. <laughs> and he's he's completely fooled by it all. The it's kind of funny, and um. So, uh, he makes it home in time. And, uh, it's off house arrest now. At the family room with his family and just hugs them. And Hank and Jan have a, fam- have a reunion themselves. And, uh, this, um, walk on the beach and into the house that, um, Hank kept in a briefcase in a sh- in uh, a mini sh- and shrunk it into a briefcase uh, sh- and put it in the briefcase and then unshrink it with his uh uh his uh his the uh I forget what it's called uh uh Hank Park Pim Parkles it's called so yeah um and uh Everything's like seems like all well and dandy until Scott gets stuck in the quantum realm again, <laughs> and he can't get out because no one's there to pull him out. Hope, Janet, and Hank all got snapped away into dust by Thanos. So they're all basically ashes and ashes of dust and dead as <laughs> dead so. And uh, that leads into hanging when he, he finally gets out. He's basically been in there for five years. Straight. <laughs> uh, when he gets out in, in Endgame. So it's, it's, it's kind of so sucks to be him. Uh, 
I really find this uh, really ugly movie, and uh, I will say, I, I want to say, like, this end crest, the other end crest, the scene, big end crest scene is basically this, uh, they, and still, is still playing the drums and doing Scott's routine, and apparently he likes it, and he doesn't have the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, house arrest band on, and what, and he's just doing Scott's routine, this, so it's kind of funny, uh, I didn't think I found this funny, because, uh, uh, these bad guys don't know what true serum is, like, because there's, there's no such thing as true serum. Now I'm going to inject this into you that makes you tell the truth. <laughs> and then, after, after the guy injects the true serum into the guy, <laughs> it's kind of funny because these, these red box uh these red these the red on the bo- red pot of the pa- the red box a pot of red box is red that has these pictures inside and that makes them think how they're going the business is going on and then they're going to get it shut down <laughs> he didn't told and he's a boss and he didn't told his 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 co-workers <laughs> he was trying to be a good boss by not telling them and was going to tell them eventually <laughs> I didn't want to worry them. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I found that hilarious. And, and later on in the film, the he in, they inject the bad guys with true serum, all three all of them. And when they're all confessing, they're wondering why they confess. The, 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 one looks at the 